April 22nd, 2010, 210 million gallons of oil was released into the Gulf of Mexico following the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Unfortunately, this was not an isolated incident. Every year, there's 1 million metric tons of oil entering into our oceans because of oil spills, oil seeps, or transport accidents. This oil that I'm talking about comprises of various components that have been known to cause genetic mutation and even extinction in several organisms ranging from smaller fish and critters to larger mammals like whales and dolphins, which then results in disastrous ripples through the global food chain, which then directly affects you and me. To address this, it becomes extremely important to understand the fate of oil, to understand where do these components go? Do they stay concentrated at the surface or do they settle down at the bottom of the ocean? Existing research attempts to answer these questions by using a technique called the shake flask method, wherein you take oil and water together in a flask, give it a good shake, and then measure how much of this oil actually went into the water. This attempt at simulating ocean behavior using a flask is like going to build a mountain with the blueprint of a molehill. To address this research gap, I am building an oil spill simulator. With this device, I will be able to simulate the oil-water interactions at various layers in the ocean by changing the pressure and temperature conditions of the experiments. With my research, I will be able to identify the worst affected areas in the ocean following a spill and with that, help focus the cleaning resources first to these areas to have a maximum impact. With the depletion of the conventional oil reserves, the oil industry is moving its drilling operations to more challenging and hostile conditions like the ultra-deep waters and the Arctic. If a spill were to occur in any of these areas, the consequences would be catastrophic therefore making it imperative for us to actually understand the ultimate fate of oil. Thank you.